After you've purchased your safe, you'd probably want to be able to see inside when you open the door. Before you start installing a whole bunch of new lights in your house, you should install a Clearview Safe Light Kit. Using wand lights and a motion sensor, this kit is perfect for your safe interior. It's plenty bright and it installs quick and easy. But if your safe has a fire rating from 90 to 110 minutes, the installation process is a little different. All the same, let's get this installed. The first thing you'll do is make sure you got all the parts in your kit. It comes with an AC adapter, motion sensor, four light wands for the opening side of the safe, two light wands for the hinge side, and a three inch female to female adapter. There will also be a few extension cables, screws, and wire clips, should you choose to use those. Next, you'll want to plan where you put everything. Start with the motion sensor. Ideally, this is placed three inches up from the bottom of the safe and three inches from the front on the hinge side. Placing it here will avoid any contact with the door and prevent it from being crushed. Fit the open side wands on the left front of the safe in between the metal door jamb and the interior panel. Make sure they don't interfere with the locking bars and door adjusters. Also, make sure they are positioned with the silver mail connector on top. If you find it difficult to position all four wands, don't worry. Three wands will be sufficient. As a bonus tip, you may want to place the fourth light above the top shelf on the left side. The hinge side wands will also be placed between the metal jam and the interior panel. They should also be placed between the hinge cups and not over them. Note that these wands need to have the black female connector on the top, otherwise you won't be able to use the provided screws. Once you have everything dry fit where you'd like it to be, peel the adhesive backing off the hinge side wand strips and install them tightly into position. Make sure the lights aren't sticking out of the groove or they will be crushed by the locking bars. Also, remember to make sure the lights and the wires do not overlap the hinge cups. Once both wands are positioned, use the provided screws to anchor them to the interior panel. The screws go through the small slit on the top and bottom of the wand. Then you'll peel the adhesive backing off the open side wands and install them tightly into position as well. Again, make sure they don't interfere with the locking bars or door adjusters. Your lights may have a protective film over the lights. We recommend removing that after they are installed. Now you'll install the motion sensor in the same place where we've mentioned before. You'll start by putting the double-sided tape on the back and sticking it in place. You'll secure it in place with the screws that are provided. With everything in place, connect the wires. On each cable connection, you'll notice a small arrow. The arrows are an approximation and do not line up perfectly. You'll need to slightly rotate the connector until the notch and lip line up. Once the small lip is through the notch, you'll rotate the connector clockwise until it stops. This secures a proper connection. Since the hinge lights are oriented differently to accommodate for the screws, a three inch female to female adapter cable is provided. You'll use this to connect the motion sensor to the lights. After the lights on each side are connected together and connected to the motion sensor, plug the AC adapter into the motion sensor. Lastly, plug the AC adapter into the outlet inside your safe and let the lights shine. Now tuck all the excess wires into the corners of the walls and floor of your safe and you're done. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Keep safe out there and we'll catch you later.